Hi, welcome to another video in my series on solving linear equations. Now in this video, we're just going to extend the work that we've been doing so far, where we've taken fractional equations which involve two terms. And I've got two examples here where we've got fractional equations that consist of two terms. One term here equaling another term here. And the same with this example, one term here equaling another term here. But what we're going to be looking at in this one is really not much different from what we were doing in the previous video with fractional equations. What I've got here in the denominator though is two terms instead of the one term. We've got the x and then we've got the plus 2. And in this example we've got two terms in the denominator, the 2x and the minus 5. So how do we do these? Well, it's not really much different, as I say, from the previous tutorial, where I showed you that if you've got one term in the denominator, what we need to do is remove it by multiplying both sides of the equation by whatever value you've got here in the denominator. So what I'm basically doing is considering the denominator as one term. Think of it like in brackets there. And the same with this one here. Not that I'm going to put this in brackets now, because we generally don't. So when it comes to doing this one, what we need to do is multiply both sides of the equation by x plus 2. So what I'll do is we'll just put, well, we'll put therefore, okay, because it follows on that therefore we have x plus 2, we'll multiply the left-hand side of the equation with x plus 2. So I have x plus 2 multiplied by 8x minus 1, all divided by x plus 2. And I won't put that in brackets, okay? We can just sense that it's one term by having brackets there. And for the other side, we take the 5 and we multiply that too with the x plus 2. And what happens then is that this value of x plus 2 cancels into the x plus 2 there. It goes once. So not really much different to what we were doing before. And this leaves me with 1 times 8x minus 1, which is therefore going to be 8x minus 1. And on the right-hand side, we've got 5 times all of x plus 2. So we just need to expand the bracket, and we're going to have 5x plus 10. And now we should be familiar with this. All we've got to do is say, group up the x terms, we'll subtract 5x from both sides. So we have 8x take 5x, which is 3x. Then we've got the constant minus 1 equals, and then 5x plus 10 minus 5x just leaves us with 10 on this side. Now I'm going to add 1 to both sides. So therefore we have 3x minus 1 add 1 just gives me 3x. And then on the right hand side, 10 add 1 is going to be 11. Divide both sides now by 3 to leave me with 3x over 3, which is just 1x or x. And then 11 divided by 3 is going to be 11 thirds. And you can leave it like that or express it as a mixed fraction. And that is x equals, well, 11 divided by 3. 3 goes into 11 three times with 2 left over. So you've got 2 thirds left over, 3 and 2 thirds. Okay, well, you might like to have a go at this question here. 7 equals 3 minus 4x, all divided by 2x minus 5. So if that's the case, just give you a moment to pause the video. Do come back when ready, and you can check your work solution with mine. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So with this one, what we've got to do then is remove the denominator here, 2x minus 5. And to do that, we just multiply both sides by 2x minus 5. So I'm not going to do this in red like I did here, okay? We know that what we're going to have is 7, then multiply by 2x minus 5. 
And then on the right hand side here, I've got this fraction multiplied by 2x minus 5. The 2x minus 5s would cancel, just leaving me, me with 3 minus 4x. So all I need to do now is just expand the bracket. So therefore, we're going to have 7 times 2x, which is going to be 14x, and 7 times minus 5, well, that's minus 35. And that's going to equal the 3 minus 4x. I can see that I've got a bigger x term here than I have on the right-hand side, so I'm going to add 4x to both sides so that I can remove the minus 4x from here. So if we add 4x to both sides, 14x plus 4x is going to give me 18x, and then we've got minus 35. And if I add 4x to the right-hand side here, 3 minus 4x plus 4x just leaves me with 3. Now I'm going to add 35 to both sides, so we therefore have 18x minus 35 add 35, well that's 0, and then I've got 3 plus 35, which is going to be 38. Now if we divide both sides by 18, then we've got 18x over 18, which is 1x, or just simply x, and then you've got 38 divided by 18. Now we can divide top and bottom by 2, so 2's into 38 go 19 times, and 2 into 18 goes 9 times. So what we've got here is that therefore x equals 19 over 9. You could leave it like that, or you could express it as a mixed fraction, and in that case 9 would go into 19 twice and there'll be one left over, and that'll be one ninth. So you've got two and one ninth. So I hope this has given you then a better understanding of how we go about solving equations like these. Now in the next video in my series, what I want to do is extend this work further, where we now look at fractional equations which contain more than one term, which is a fraction. Here, as I say, we've got one term which is a fractional term in both these equations. So we're just going to up it now to more than one term which is a fraction.